I went into the contemporary because it wasn't strictly sort of um, technique, so I haven't done ballet from a young age, so obviously I couldn't go into professional ballet, and I haven't really done hip-hop, because, I don't know, you have to have a style for that, and I'm not that person, so contemporary is very broad, and there's so many different techniques that you can do with that, and you don't have to look pretty, you don't have to look ugly, you don't have to... Um, stand on your feet all day, you can roll on the ground, roll on the floor, jump up high. Um, I don't know, it's just very free and big and it just connects with you. I started dancing when I was 15, as in contemporary dancing, but when I was nine years old I started rhythmic gymnastics and I did that for five years. I had the choice of choosing between dance and gymnastics because of a knee injury and I chose to go into dance because it wasn't as physical as gymnastics and I could have a life outside dance as well. I would have done more ballet as well because ballet is so important. It doesn't matter whether you're going to be a ballerina or whether you're going to be a contemporary dancer. Ballet is like the base the base for it if you want to be a technical contemporary dancer. So I would have done more ballet and I regret that I haven't done it. A minimum of three hours dancing a day and then an hour and a half in the gym training. So let's say 15 hours a week dancing, seven hours at the gym just building on my strength and doing my cardio and endurance and then I would say two to three hours again on my theory stuff, especially now that I'm having to write my dissertation. About 32 hours, I would say. It's not one single day that I don't wake up and feel happy about going to university knowing that I'm going to be dancing, moving around and be with people that have the same passion as I do.